Hey guys, so I am a very, very big opponent of whatnot. Whatnot, in my opinion, is very shady. People steal cards all the time on whatnot. Most recently, there was a bounty for a Moonbrion, a very hard card to hit. $1,500 if you hit the Moonbrion, it was hit. Guy stole it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's what happens on whatnot on a very, very often. And then I get an email because I have a whatnot account. And look who I find on whatnot. It is 12,000 plus and free magic collector boxes chasing the ring. Almost like Tolarian Community College forgot that he was telling people not. Set your alarms and clear your schedules. For a mega giveaway show on whatnot with Tolarian College. This Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Time. Professor is giving away 24 Lord of the Ring collector boxes. So 24 would put $1,200,000. So let's take $12,000. Divide by 24 would put each of these boxes at 500, Which is what you would be paying for it on whatnot. Maybe even more, as they said, plus more. For free, will he pull you the ultra rare 101 ring card worth over $2 million? There's only one way to find out. And this is a Tulare Community College saying that he was hoping that people, it would, people were joking about chasing the ring. So I am probably the most vocal and most loud proponent against whatnot for Magic the Gathering in particular. There is no punishment. There is no... I mean... It's devastating what WhatNot does to its customers. And let me just read you some reviews, okay? This, I'm on the Beller Business Bureau where they have a 1.4 rating out of 5. And the uh, Jackery gave it a 5 star saying, Amazing app, buyer beware. As all selling platforms, you need to be careful. So he's telling you that you need to be careful, yet he gave you a five star. Yeah. Loads of scammers on this site. Brittany R says loads of scammers on this site. Customer terrible customer service. For every good seller on a platform, there are a dozen cons. It's incredibly risky to buy anything on this platform. Many sellers will bait and switch giveies or send you a gross, dirty, broken item. Sellers will sit in other sellers' room and show bid. Absolutely. The jewelry section is unbelievably bad. I received one piece a seller claimed to be sterling silver, and it was made out of lead. Lots of fake sterling silver with 9 to 5 stamps. Lots of counterfeit purchases and luxury goods. Zachary N. says, Full of blank whatnot streamers regularly steal from their customers or switch out cards, etc., do not trust WhatNot to address any issues. A seller and WhatNot recently stole a $2,000 card from a buyer. Rhino K says, I was scammed on the WhatNot app. WhatNot customer service will not respond to any emails. They are not helping me. The seller who scammed me cussed me out and called me a whiny little B because I was aware of his scam an hour after it happened and he wanted a refund. They were letting people like him take advantage of people in the app. His name on there is Min State Mikey. I was thinking I was bidding on a blank silver dollar. Then when he really gave me it was a $30 blank ounce of silver I paid blank for the silver dollar. Juan says, I have spent over 60 k on here. 25% of the purchases have been relic relic replicates. Fakes with whatnot only able to correct 5% of them. The customer service by email is horrible. Automatic replies to issues and no follow-up. I am looking to reverse charges for a replica items. And if not able to, I will continue with further action. Brandon. A. Whatnot was a place I came to get away and find items I usually can't within my area. After months on being there, I was incentivized by my peers to start as a seller. And upon my experience, I can say at least was very disappointing. I applied honestly and truthful with, and with no questions or conversations. They made heavy accusations without any context or elaboration and threatened me on my third try. 
I don't know why this guy is trying three times. Probably is a scammer, I would assume, right? I received the wrong items from a seller and whatnot. I reported the, the issue, sent pictures, the order numbers, and whatnot support. They continued to ask me for tracking numbers, the last response I received, and yada yada. This reminds me a lot of Pika Trade, which is something else that Tolarian Community College has basically fed his subscribers into. And they went to zero. So Pika Trade, I do not believe, still exists today. Maybe it does, but I have not heard anything about Pika Trade for years now. Let me see if it still exists. Pika Trade is shutting down November 15th, 2021. Pika Trade is shutting down. So, yep. No longer exist. Terrible idea. Heavily promoted by your best friend. And somebody got caught holding the bag. And I mean, all those Pico points, monopoly money and not pegged to actual currency. The entire business was scam. I mean, yeah. So it shut down November over two years ago. That was something that Tolerant Community College promptly, I mean, he still probably has videos on that today and maybe if Pico trade was better managed it would still be around today but of course they got greedy this reminds me a lot where they're just buying influence in the community they're buying anyone and everyone with money so Pico trade um and then he has a video saying i'm not playing this game the 500 dollar collector booster box game is not for me lord of the rings and then he has a link saying that he's going to give away 24 collector booster boxes on Pacific time. Sign up using my link to get a bonus, an affiliate link. This is, you know, this is basically, in my opinion, even worse than Pico Trade. Pico Trade, had they managed it correctly and not been greedy and not have done all those um, things, then I think it actually could have worked. But they got greedy. They wanted to get a quick exit. They paid themselves millions of dollars of money by inflating the Pico Point. By just dumping Pico Points into a, the ecosystem. Yeah. Uh, for what not, you got to trust these. I mean, these are not, these are criminals. These are felons. These are people who don't even use their real names. And when they get caught stealing in a, a Moonbrion, which is a, a great hit. It's a great celebration to have. Nobody even knows. They get suspended for a week and they're back on next week doing another bigger bounty. Hey guys, I'm sorry you guys had to see that. Well, you know, today's bounty is going to be a hundred million dollars if you hit the Moonbrion. You're never going to hit it because he's just going to steal it and replace it with what? A uh, Leafeon? He's going to replace it with a $10, $6 Leafeon? Give me a break.